Hey, yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Robin to Kill a Bird. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Now, Robin to Kill a Bird is the second volume, and for a lack of a better term, a three volume trilogy done by Bill Wellingham. Uh, the first volume was Robin Unmasked, and then it goes right into Kill a Bird. Now, the funny thing to note is the Killer Bird does, isn't set right after Unmasked. It's set a, a bit of time ahead. Because at the end of Unmasked, Tim Drake stops being Robin. And obviously this sets up for Stephanie Brown to become Robin. Then we have the War Games. He becomes Robin again. And this is him returned as Robin in his bullet. Now, uh, the interesting thing to also know about this, in addition to that, is Robin is no longer in Gotham. He has actually moved to Bloodhaven. Which, in my opinion, is actually kind of a stupid thing, because Bloodhaven makes Gotham look like paradise. I mean, Bloodhaven's the Brooklyn Brawler, while Gotham is, like, the rock. I mean, Bloodhaven's that crappy of a town. If you've read any of the Nightwing stuff, you should know. It's really kind of a shithole. But, whatever, that's besides the point. So Robin's kind of on his own. He's a little disconnected from Batman at this point, and he's doing his own thing. Unfortunately, in this story, there's been a hit that's been put on him and Batgirl, too, but that's not really addressed too much. And a bunch of miscellaneous Z-level villains come after Robin. Uh, this, th these villains are like the Dark Rider and a mysterious archer and a bunch of people that you really won't care about at all. And then, after that, it leads right into his meeting with the Veteran. Now, I find Veteran to be a very interesting character. The veteran is an individual who apparently is immortal and apparently is invincible, and he's been in every single major American war, which is kind of cool if you think about it. Okay, yes, his costume looks a little goofy, but it, the concept is pretty interesting. An individual who's taken place, uh, participated in each war in American history. It's kind of cool. Um, he comes in and he wants to recruit Robin for his special team. Um, and, you know, the thing is, is Robin's actually considering it very heavily. So the question is this, will Robin be able to survive the onslaught of stupidity that comes from all these miscellaneous villains? In addition to that, will he also join up with the veteran? And, Johnny Warlock, he uses his magic, yeah, his magic, and he brings back an old Robin character and making them more powerful than they were before because they were not powerful at all. <laughs> so I'm not going to reveal who that is. I want you to read for yourself. So let's just jump into the good, the bad, and whatnot not you should get. Well, good. Um, I find some of this to actually be very comedic, especially the fights between the uh, Dark Rider. See, when he was fighting the Dark Rider, he beat the shit out of this guy so much that he actually had a formula for it. That was just comical to read. The setup for the veteran stuff was nice, and I like the introduction of uh, the individual that the warlock had created. He deemed the warlock's daughter. I find her to be an interesting character, um, and she gets transitioned over into the next volume, uh, Days of Fire and Madness, where she actually gets a little bit more of a development. So I like that. Uh, some of the art was okay. Well, at the other time, some of the art wasn't good, and I'll get into that when I go into the bad. Which is what I'll transition into right now. Bad. <clears throat> Obviously, there's some awful art in here. Absolutely atrocious. Now, I'm not one to talk. I draw, but I'm not a good artist. Now, I usually respect everyone that does good art, but there's some art in here that's just not for Robin. It's really just, oh. Oh, God, it was pretty, pretty bad. Oh. It's like... I have no analogy or comparison to it. It's like being on Alderaan during the fourth Star Wars movie. It's like, oh shit, the Death Star is there. Fuck. It was really bad art. I mean, there's some good art in here. Don't get me wrong. There is some good art, but there's some really cartoony art that just looks like it was... It was just atrocious. I mean, the... Uh, now, the next thing is the concept of the story is good, is that Robin is has hit on him, which I think was a good idea. However, they used crappy villains, and none of them were interesting at all. It, it really wasn't that interesting in general. So, 
the story kind of fell flat. And there was a kind of a weak progression with the story. It didn't flow very well. I didn't like the flow of the story. Um, so that's a downside too. In addition to that, this really, other than the setup to uh, Days of Fire and Madness and the last issue with the veteran, and the one thing with the warlock's daughter, this really is not necessary one bit to the trilogy at all. I, I, I actually read this last in the trilogy, and I didn't feel lost or confused at all when I went to Volume 3. So, whether or not you should get it. Well, I'm going to not lie to you guys. I'm going to be completely honest. This is probably the worst Robin stuff I've read. It, it, it just it didn't work out well at all. Um, should you pick it up? I would say no. Really not. If you're looking to get this trilogy with Robin Unmasked, Days of Fire and Madness, and To Kill Bird, you could actually skip this and just know that the veteran's trying to recruit Robin and that the Warlock Dollar God is created. If you know those two things, you could go in Days of Fire and Madness and not need to read this. It really isn't worth your money. I mean, it's $14, but it's still way too much for a book that definitely not good at all. The only way I would recommend this, the only way, is if you're a die-hard Robin fan like I am, and you want to read it, and you just want to add to your Robin collection. But besides that, it really is not good at all. I, I would recommend not getting it one bit. At least with Unmasked, you can get that and have it kind of be a setup for war crimes or war games. Uh, but this, this, at no, this is bad. This is really just not good. So, Robin to kill a bird. Yeah, they definitely killed the bird in this. Don't pick it up. Uh, really, just stay away from it. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.